This training video is brought to you by Avalon Training Group. Avalon specializes in enterprise project management and is a Microsoft certified partner. You can learn more about our EPM role-based training by visiting our website at avalontraining.com. This video introduces scheduling techniques and the Task Inspector, which is a tool to help make visible what factors are affecting the start date of a selected task. The start of a task is based on calendars, constraints, and predecessors. Resource calendars will also affect the start once a resource has been assigned. To use the task inspector for a task, select the task and then click the inspect button which you'll find on the task ribbon. This will open a panel on the left hand side giving you details about what is impacting the schedule of that particular task. If I scroll down to the bottom of the factors affecting the task for established budget, I can see that it's auto-scheduled and it's scheduled to take place September 2nd through September 9th. It's impacted by a predecessor. So there's a link that is driving this task from based on the project charter. It also has a setting turned on where warning signs will show for any suggested indicators where I've got conflicts. In fact, if I look at this particular task and the other two tasks above it, I have a red symbol in the indicators column telling me that this task has resources which are over allocated. And on the left hand side, I can see I've got a couple of repair options. I can reschedule the task, which I'll try first. And when I click reschedule the task, it looks like the next available time for this particular resource is not until October 11th. So this task is being pushed out in my schedule by about five weeks. The impact of that is causing a ripple effect and giving me some conflicts down in the next phase, which is the planning phase. And the reason that ripple effect is taking place is because these tasks down in planning are auto-scheduled. So they will honor the predecessor that's driving them. The tasks 9 through 12 are manual scheduled. So they are not honoring the predecessor that's driving them. I could choose to select these tasks and click respect links. What that does is it tells Microsoft Project that even though I'm controlling these through a manual schedule, I do want to respect the link with the predecessor task. So by respecting the links, I've resolved the conflicts down in the planning phase. But that doesn't get around the fact that my established budget has been delayed by about five weeks. It's now scheduled to take place October 11th. So I'm going to click my undo button to undo the last two actions take me back to where I started. And I've got my established budget is now taking place September 2nd through September 9th. I'm going to look at an alternative in my repair options. There's a sec suggestion here to look at the overallocated resources using something called the Team Planner, which is new in 2010. So if I click on Team Planner, I can see in this view that the resources scheduled on my project on the left hand side, Bill Davis, my business analyst, Clara Wong, Patricia Davidson, and my project manager. And I can see that the project manager has a lot of open space during this time frame in September. So what I may opt to do is take these assignments that are currently given to the business analyst and just drop them down into the project manager's set of assignments. By doing that, I'm able to resolve the conflicts on those two tasks. So, and I've got one more which I'll resolve and that's my established budget. Once I've resolved those conflicts, I'm going to return to my Gantt chart, which is the view I was in before, and I can see that the red indicator to show that the task was overscheduled is now replaced with another indicator to show that I'm controlling the schedule using constraints for those tasks. So a constraint 
is where you put in a spe specific date to drive the schedule. So for example, if I were to double click on Project Charter, I can see that I've put in a constraint by dropping it down into the schedule for the project manager, it's controlled that it is to start no earlier than August 30th, 2011. I can see that through my task inspector. On each one of these tasks, I can see what's affecting the schedule. In the first one, the high level project plan, it's in auto schedule mode and it's being controlled by a constraint. In project charter, Although there's a constraint, the overriding factor that's impacting the task is the predecessor. So there may be a constraint, but it's the predecessor that's actual, actually driving that task. When I click on Establish Budget, it looks like the constraint is driving the schedule. So it depends on what factor is determining the start and finish date of that particular task. That's what will appear in the Task Inspector window in the left-hand pane. So we've talked about many factors that affect the schedule and how the Task Inspector can help us, help give us insight as to what is the overriding factor that's determining the schedule. When you're finished using the Task Inspector, you can click the X in the left-hand panel to close the Inspector pane and you will see the full Gantt view on the right-hand side. I hope you found some useful tips in our lesson on the Task Inspector. Look for more videos by Avalon Training Group.